Here's a theory of existence, a theory that explains why there's anything, why our universe exists. So you've heard this before, the idea is that each stage of our universe is caused by a prior stage in an infinite regress of causes, all the way out without any first cause. And this is supposed to explain why there's something rather than nothing. But does this actually explain the existence of the universe? Philosopher Richard Taylor has pointed out that the mere age of a thing doesn't explain why that thing exists. Whether it's 10 years, 100 years, or infinitely many years, we can wonder why there is that eternally old thing at all. Why there is this step. Why these things, rather than some other things, or not at all? If we have an infinite stack of plates, why the plates, rather than the bowls, or nothing? Now maybe you've read your David Hume, and you're not quite convinced because you have this thought that, look, if each thing is explained, then all of the things are thereby explained. But what I don't think Hume really saw so clearly is that although we might be able to explain the whole in terms of explaining the parts, we haven't thereby explained the plurality of the parts. We've explained each part, but we haven't explained the parts together. For the only thing that could explain the parts together are those same parts, and that would be a circular explanation. That's like bringing yourself into existence. It doesn't seem to answer that deep question. Why those parts rather than others? So this is why I don't think the infinite regress theory provides the best explanation of existence, because it doesn't provide any explanation.